Hi, my name is Liv, and this is my uh, GCSE sketchbook tour. Uh, the first thing I ever did in it was an acrylic painting, and it was the first painting in acrylic I'd ever done, so it was a bit scary. We were given the theme of collections, we didn't really have a choice. Uh, I did not have a fun time doing those linos. I am not exactly a strong person, so it was quite hard. Oh, I hate this page. Disgusting. No, the uh, I was quite proud of these cute little pumpkins. I love pumpkins so much. Ah, very cute. We didn't get to pick our artists, but that's fine. I got to draw this cute little skeleton and a little tutu. So this is moving into the initial ideas page, which is oh my gosh I remember doing this and I tried to use wool and her eyebrows which is so messy and fluffy I feel really bad for her this page I actually just reused stuff from my photography you should see I remember my teacher asking me if I was okay with that one and if he should be concerned because <laughs> I was drawing so many like body parts and eyeballs I don't know why, but at this point I got really into using like super glue <laughs> just on the page. I think it's because I was using it so much for that weird sculpture box thing. A terrible drawing of Frank Iero. <laughs> Sorry, Frank. Oh, that was horrible. That was reverse painting on acetate. Lots of blue on this page. I think that was my favourite colour at the time. Looks like someone splattered an egg over there. Oh, I missed a page. Nice little flowers. So this was the final piece and it's just a crate, I guess. Uh, again, yeah, more blue, lots of blue. So this was Oh no, I've done this in the wrong order. Okay, this is my exam project. I was in the year that didn't actually have to take the GCSE exams, but um, I chose the theme of crowds. And I did finish most of my sketchbook before we went into, you know, the fun lockdown. Uh, so we didn't get much choice with artists here either. I did a really weird sculpture of a hand coming out of what was meant to be a blob of body parts. I I don't know. This was all done uh, about a year ago and thankfully my art has changed a lot since then. Oh, I hate using Photoshop. I somehow managed to do my whole photography GCSE only using Photoshop about three times because I hated it that much. So this was just a little bit of hand practice, very fun, really just filling the pages here. Same with this, uh, I was just prepping for the exam, but I guess that was all futile in the end. <sighs> fun times. <laughs> so now actually we're going backwards into my second project and this was one where we did actually get to pick the theme so i chose pretty strange kind of inspired uh, inspired by the panic at the disco album pretty on uh yeah but this one was a lot of fun because i actually got to paint things that i wanted all of the artists here i like a lot like a lot a lot i mean Especially uh, Maya Nefrozu, very cool. Highly recommend you check her out. Um, <laughs> this page is quite funny. I don't know if you ever heard of um, Exquisite Corpse, but it's a game that artists used to play like back in the old days. Uh, you might have played it as a kid. But here I had to play with myself because uh, I can exactly have someone else do my art project. Moving into the initial ideas, I really like this octopus. 
and I think it's been a while on him. I like octopuses a lot. And I decided to continue with like the whole weird sea creature thing. Oh my gosh, this is a um, Dumbo octopus. They're so cute. I remember I spent like a whole day in art just looking at pictures of them because they were so cute. I didn't really like this. This was I think one of my first times using gouache but my teacher liked it a lot so I guess that's cool. This was a bit spooky because it was around Halloween and I like spooky things. And a lot of vampire related things. Uh, I don't really know where I was going with this page. I just thought gender was quite <laughs> strange. I think gender was a strange concept. Oh, these were fun. Uh, Denderic printing. It's literally just acrylic smeared on acetate. So here's some jellyfish. I had a lot of fun with these. Uh, I decided, you know what? Jellyfish are very pretty and very strange. So I want to draw more of them. So I did. This uh, I did over the summer. It didn't really have anything to do with my project, but I wanted to include it anyway, so I just shoved it in there. It was my first ever oil painting, so it's pretty horrific. This was more just filler pages. Probably could have done without these, but they were fun, I guess. So here was a little mock-up of the final piece. And I've just realized I don't actually have the final piece to show. But it basically just looked exactly like uh, these photos with jellyfish above them. This is the evaluation and that's done. So yeah, here are my recommendations. Draw the things you like because then you won't get bored and you'll actually put effort into it. Uh, don't get rid of things you don't like, just say why you don't like them. You get marks for that, which is very fun. Uh, use weird materials. If you have something, you use it. You get marks for that as well. Uh, I think you get more marked on effort than what it actually looks like, so show that you put in the effort, and show that you care. The examiners will be able to tell. Thank you for watching, I'm sorry about the terrible audio and my awkwardness. Bye!